what is good y'all yeah. so i wasn't planning on filming today but i said why not i just felt like doing it right now i'm gonna do what i promised on the last video how i master my beats uh, using maximus which is a free fl studio plugin yeah that's pretty much it for today's video it's not like i'm going out somewhere i'm just gonna make a beat and then i'm gonna show you how i will master it so yeah let's get to the video by the way i brought the big games today, this big keyboard, I barely use it anymore, but I feel like, you know, bringing it back because I think it looks cool. And I just want to play around with the MIDI. I usually have this uh, small Akai MPK uh, Mini with the 25 keys, but today I feel like adding some more. But yeah, I just barely use it because, it, you know, I'm all about less is more. So yeah, but today we are using it. It's gonna be a nice feed. It's I'm, I don't know what type of feed I'm gonna make. Anyways, let's get to it. So I just mixed the beat and now it's time for Maximus but before I add Maximus on the master I'm gonna add an EQ and I'm going to this 40 hertz and 18 hertz cut and this is gonna reduce the unnecessary low end and also the very high end that you know this shouldn't exist anyways so it's a good thing to do also if you feel like your mix doesn't sound good you can do different type of you know, boosts and cats here as well, but I always recommend you to work on the mix on every single uh, track instead of, you know, doing everything with just one EQ or compressor, you know. So, now let's bring up uh, Maximus, and I'm not using any preset, it's literally the default preset. And what we're gonna do first, first of all, I'm gonna play you the beat 
uh, how it sounds mixed and you know with the whole leveling of things uh, for those who missed uh, the previous video is about mixing so make sure you go check it out first because in order to get a good master you need to have a proper mix but here is the beat and you know you're gonna be like it sounds really low on volume and this is because like I said on the previous video you should at least you know I recommend you to have your mix at the least at minus 6 dB so we can add more volume with uh, maximums during the mastering process so this is why I have everything like really low so yeah let's bring up maximums and what I'm gonna do first it's talk about what it's doing what it does you know it's it's supposed to be a multi-band compressor a multi-band compressor but honestly I don't see it like that I think it's you know kinda complicated but yeah the way I see it you can control your frequencies the lows, the mids, the highs uh, the way you want without affecting any uh, anything else so for example if I wanna do if I wanna boost a lot uh, on my lows I won't affect my mids and the highs but I'm not doing that anyway. So uh, I'm gonna show you the first thing I'm, do, I'm doing right now with Maximus. And, and what I do is I'm uh, choosing I'm choosing the things I wanna hear on every frequency range. So let's just, I will play you the low end and uh, I'm gonna show you what I mean. I'm gonna solo this so you can hear just all the low elements of the track. And if you just heard it right, you can listen to, instead of just listening through the kick and the 808 that are supposed to be the only uh, low end elements you should have on the track, you can literally hear the melodies as well, which is something we don't want. So uh, what I'm gonna do is drag this low knob to a point where I only hear the bass, no, when I only hear the 808 and the kick, so let's do this. Yeah, I think that's fine. And the last thing I do on the lows is, you know, applying compression, which I don't really, I can't really tell the difference. Then this is why I do this like really subtle, like this. And I'm doing the same thing on the mids. I do not control anything. And then I go to my high frequencies and I do not control them with this knob as well. I just, but what I do is I use this stereo separation knob and this will make my high frequencies sound more stereo without having anything else uh, sound stereo because you know on a track you usually want only your highs to be on stereo and your lows to be on you know in mono and a mistake I did was I didn't put my lows to mono which I did right now so yeah now let's get to the highs and I'm gonna adjust I'm not gonna go like too crazy maybe somewhere around here this is where I usually uh, put this knob all right and now I can uh, unsolo my frequencies and uh, there's not gonna be too much of a difference right now because we haven't yet boosted the uh, post gain on the mass let's see uh, I'm gonna drag this knob to a point where it doesn't sound like it's clashing like I want it to sound obviously uh, as loud as possible, but without having it, you know, clipping. So let's see. Okay, that should be fine. Uh, I'm gonna lower my 808 a little bit. I don't want this really to be that loud. And the next thing I'm gonna do is go to the attack knob and I'm gonna drag it somewhere in the middle and this is gonna give an extra boost on the volume. So now we we'll get to the ceiling which is it's literally the limiter part of Maximus and you know I'm gonna treat it you should treat it like any other you know type of limiter get your get this knob to minus 1 dB and then I'm going to this saturation knob and I'm gonna put it to 10% which is like the sweet spot the way I see it if I do this like too much 
it's not gonna you no know, here you can see how much uh, saturation you apply I don't wanna overdo it so yeah let's get to 10% Yeah, that's pretty much it. Like, as you can tell, mastering doesn't take too long to do it. As long as you have a good mix, uh, everything is gonna fall into place. So, yeah, and now I'm gonna play how it, how the track sounds just mixed, and then uh, how it sounds with the EQ, the simple EQ, and Maximus on it. So here it is, just mixed. Here is with uh, the mastering uh, effects on. Uh, so yeah, as you can tell, it is pretty simple. Yeah, like I said, you need a good mix and any other problem should just disappear. So that's it for me uh, for today's speed. I hope you liked it. I think it's way shorter than my previous videos. Anyways, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, uh, like the vid, and also make sure you check out my Instagram. I post like beat breakdowns right there. So yeah, my Instagram profile is fire. Anyways, I'm gonna see you in the next video. Until then, make sure you work hard, make beats, and you know, enjoy your life. So see ya.